I wish I was more curious and I wasn't so embarrassed to ask questions and I wasn't so scared of my body and sexuality in general. The sex can be really good and it's normal to be curious um, and it's good to explore and learn your body. One thing I wish I knew when I was younger um, is probably around puberty, that was a pretty scary time, um, but knowing that it's normal, that every young girl is going through the same things, um, their bodies are changing and it's not something that's unusual. As a younger person I would say ask more questions and feel confident to ask more questions. Even just going to a library on your own, I did that once, I actually went to a library and got a couple of books out on my own as my grandmother and thought, what is what does half of this mean? Don't be afraid to ask silly questions, even though everyone else might seem like they know the answer. That it's okay to ask, um, I guess, my parents about it and not always try to find answers on online and stuff. Everyone has these thoughts and everyone has questions, but just don't be scared and know that they they would appreciate if you go up to them and ask them. Sexual health is really badly taught in a lot of schools and a lot of places. Like that can be like the greatest school have really good teachers, but then the sexual health components can be really awkwardly dealt with or not dealt with at all. Being able to find sources that you can trust that are reputable, are relevant to you, and accurate is really important. I would like to know that out there is things for disabled people to have sex and have intimate um, relationships and everything. My advice would be that you can always say no. If you feel uncomfortable, you shouldn't feel like you've got to do something because someone's asking you to. It's always your choice and you should feel like you're able to say no. Just do what you feel comfortable doing. Like don't feel pressured in any sort of situation. Don't put yourself in an, uncom in an uncomfortable situation and just, just do what feels right for you. Do not take yourself too seriously. Not everyone um, knows all the answers or you know what's right and wrong. Everyone's kind of learning from different paces as other people, so it's okay to ask questions and have a little bit of fun. Not everyone has to do everything, uh, do everything sexual health related at a particular time in their life. You can take your time. One piece of advice that I'd like to give other young people, or that I would give myself if I was when I was younger, um, is to just take my time with new experiences and um, to really check in about how I felt afterwards. I guess knowing that not everyone has sex at a specific age and if, you, if, if there's not like a cut-off date for like having sex is, I wish I knew that for sure, like, you know, you have those feelings but you're not, you're like, maybe th there is a, a sort of time and if I've, I'm past that date, I, I really need to get on with it. So yeah, knowing that there's, there's no rush and if you look, if I, if I could tell my younger self that, That'd be like I, I just look at everything in a different way.